Hello everyone and welcome to part 10, I think. Uh, in the previous one we were having problem with the super match and I figured out the problem and it's very funny. All you have to do is just remove this exit and everything will just work fine. So in today's episode we are going to change some small things and a, I will just go change this I to C type and C stands for candy and here we say C type and what you want to do is go everywhere and just change this everywhere so here you want to change this to C type and just copy this and paste it everywhere I see I all right if you come to script find match you'll have it everywhere <laughs> so let's search this and swap it with candy equals to this replace all Good. Then we have this. Swap it with this. Okay. That's it. Good. So we have changed this everywhere. Now what I want to do is I want to start, you remember that I loaded this uh, new sprite and they are bigger than they are supposed to be. So what I want to do is I want to set the size to be a little bit smaller in the beginning. So we say here image x scale equals 0 0.7 let's say and image y scale equals to 0 0.7 actually you know what let's say uh, image size equals to 0 0.7 and we just put this here good so if we run the game they look smaller but everything's terrible so this is not the solution what is the solution? Okay, if we come to the solution is to do it in the draw event, but I don't want to go there. So let's just forget about it. Okay, so we want to come to object brain and okay, we have already established this. We want a new variable and it's called last candy okay and we come here in the create event we say last candy equals id and here we have a step event in the object brain we say if last candy dot stable is true actually you don't have to write this but anyways then B 
is equals false. Else is equals true. And what this does is when we have uh, candies spawning, we don't want the player to be able to swap anything. And we want the player to be able to swap only when everything is stable. So we come here in the left pressed. Here we say if not busy then we check for the if stable good so let's go and test that okay let me go and prepare this match five if not is is a global variable uh, then what is the problem All right, it seems to me that the object is not in the room. And yeah, the object is not in the room. So I want to place this object inside the room. It's very <laughs> important. I don't know how, how this. OK, so now the object is in the room in the room. Let's run this and yes, everything. Oh my God, what was that? And by the way, I want to complain to the YoYo team this. You see the cursor now. What is this? Why it's not uh, the normal cursor? cursor the normal mouse why why is it why is it this well, what did i do wrong i don't understand anyways wh what was that how did that happen I think that happened because this was performing something and we swapped immediately. Otherwise I have no idea why it happened. Well, every time you try to fix something, another thing breaks. <laughs> right. So, last candidate stable is true. Busy is false, otherwise, busy is true. Okay. Let's. Um, Let's test the match five for now. Okay, now we have this. And if I swap these two, every single yellow candy should be destroyed. So you see, it, every single yellow, yellow candy got destroyed and th this is good. Now, I'm really bugged why that happened. It's 
very strange. See, everything is working, but only that episode. Well, it should not happen because you you see, we destroyed this out of the ordinary. This should not be happening. Anyways, now that everything is working just fine, let's see what we need to add to the game. Well, I don't know. You know what? I leave this to you. You guys tell me what we want, what you think this game is missing so we can add it to the game. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.